Before heading into Canada, we stopped into Great Falls, Montana to take care of a lingering issue. Our rear driver side wheel cylinder had been leaking brake fluid and it was time to fix this. Fortunately, I have a friend and former coworker who kindly lent us the use of his well-equipped shop. Dwight and Diane were kind hosts to us as well and let us stay with them while we fix this. Uh, unfortunately, fixing the wheel cylinder on a Toyota Dolphin is a fairly involved job because you must remove the rear axle to get to the brakes. Because our wheel cylinder was leaking, we also had to replace the brake shoes because they were saturated in brake fluid and they were no longer functional. Next, we picked up a space heater and a fuel container for diesel for our diesel heater as well as some groceries before heading into Canada. And we also filled up on diesel. And now we are almost to the border to Canada where we will do some more skiing. We've got our COVID test done. We have all our documents ready. We hope we can cross the border easily with no issues. You excited to ski in Canada? Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. Hopefully get some fresh snow. We made it into Canada. We did have to get our RV inspected though. I guess they were a little suspicious of it, or maybe they knew it's all RVs. I don't know. They went through our drawers in the RV and everything because they found my toothpaste that had a little hemp in it. <laughs> what did he say? He said it was borderline, but it could kind of get you into trouble. Yeah. He said actually more so going back into the US than with Canada. Yeah. But the agent said it was okay to keep, but recommended I toss it before we come back into the U.S. So I guess I will do that. But other than that, you were well. Yeah, it just took a little while, but it, okay. We yeah. Made it through. It took us about an, probably an hour. Yeah, an hour or maybe an hour and a half with waiting in the line. But now we're off to BAM. Yeah, we got nice sunny weather and the roads dry, so it's good. We started at Great Falls, Montana, crossed the Canadian border, and our first stop is in Banff. So today we are taking the bus to Sunshine Village to ski instead of taking our RV. There is a bus that picks us up right across from where we parked our RV. It is right there where my poles are. And to take this bus to the city where we'll get picked up by a different bus. This one is $2 and then the bus from the front of a hotel to Sunshine is free. So while skiing in Banff, we are staying at the Tunnel Mountain 2 campground. It's the only campground open in Banff during the winter, and since Banff is in a national park, it's actually illegal to camp in your RV in town or anywhere else. You have to stay in a campground. It's 33 Canadian dollars per night, which is about 25 US dollars per night, and it's a really nice campground. We're really impressed by it. They have heated restrooms and Really clean showers. One of the restrooms is right there. That one's with just the, the bathrooms. And then 
that one is the one that has showers. There's three shower stalls and one bathroom stall. We took advantage of the electrical hookups and used an extension cord and a space heater instead of our diesel heater, and it kept us nice and warm. The drinking water is not right by your campsite, so you have to walk a little bit, but it's not too bad. And the campground is conveniently located a little over a mile from the town of Banff, so you can drive your RV to town. Or They have bus stops right across from the campground that take you into town. It's $2 Canadian each way. We noticed a flyer in the Banff Library for free yoga on Friday evening, so we ended up doing some yoga on Friday, and it was really nice. After spending several days in the town of Banff, we headed west to Johnston Canyon. After hiking to the lower and upper falls in Johnston Canyon, we headed to Lake Louise. While we've been staying in Lake Louise, we've been camping in the Lake Louise campground. It's open year-round and it's the only campground in Lake Louise. And because it is a national park, you aren't able to boondock here, so you have to stay in a designated campground. This campground it comes out to $34.50 Canadian dollars and it comes with electrical hookups. There are really nice showers and restrooms are heated and I think they recently remodeled them because they're really nice. The Lake Louise campground also offers dumpsters for trash. The campground is really close to Lake Louise. It's only an eight minute drive, so that's really nice. After skiing today, we went to this hotel in town and they actually allow you to pay $5.25 to use their hot tub, their pool, and their showers. So that was a nice little hack we found. Even though we have showers here, we wanted to use the hot tubs because that's always nice after a day of skiing. Thank you for watching! Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you in the next video.